Okay. We're heading to Hamula Mountain. Um, it's about a 30 minute drive to the trailhead. Hopefully it's open today. So, let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Just got on the trail. And uh, there's a few people. Another car over there. And uh, I got a couple miles to get up top here. About 7 a.m., so a little bit different than last weekend. I hear the trail can get pretty busy. So, I think I achieved the objective of getting up here early enough to avoid some of that. And get a parking place, because there's nowhere to park. So, and with people shut in during the week, they're like me, wanting to get outside and get some fresh air so nice and cool this morning should be a nice hike a lot cooler at uh, 7 a.m. than last weekend was so pleasant hike. It's um, really green, lush in here. So yeah, enjoyable. I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, looks like a nice little climb up over this next hill. So uh, I'll put it in four-wheel drive and get her done. So let's get cracking. So this is where I came from. Swinging around. A nice little view into the valley there. Lots of birds and stuff up here. And then the trail. Looks like no bushwhacking today. Oh. Darn. Um, yeah, so a little bit better view here to the south, southwest here coming up. Should be pretty awesome off the top of this peak, but uh, we're going to get this now while the sun is kind of splashing down onto the, the mountain terrain down there. It's nice. Definitely damp up here. Much more pleasurable than last weekend. So, off we go. It's humid up here would be an understatement. But it is drying out. As you can see the morning overcast is pulling back. So, it'll probably be a warm one, but the forecast is 76 by my house. I'm guessing 80 over here. Eh, we'll see. One's gonna be a thigh burner. Looks like about a 45 degree. I'm not kidding this time. <sighs> so you can see that mountain out to the right. That's where I'm going. It's going to be at least a 500 foot climb there. So, best get cracking. I'm all about a lot of birds. <laughs> all these bugs on the on the trail. Now I know why there's so many birds up here. Good eating, I suppose. Good little climb here. Looks like lions with all the uh, antennas on it. Yeah. 
Now it's burning off. It's gonna be a crystal clear day today. Just gorgeous. Let's get cracking. Hear that? That's a lot of cows mooing down there. Waking up. Nice views from up here. And uh, expect to have some good uh, RF operating conditions. So let's get set up. Finished the activation. Uh, the batteries went dead, so you didn't catch much of it, I don't think. But uh, I guess the only thing I'd say is I couldn't key with a darn today. I couldn't even send my own call sign without screwing that up. So I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more with that key. I did better after I'd taken off my thigh. Just, I'm gonna have to come up with a different way of running my key or there, my paddles, that is. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it was good. I got a ton of Summit to Summits. 30 or 40 contacts uh, sitting up here relaxing so that's the advantage of getting up here early in the morning you can kick back and uh, relax it's certainly cooler today than it was last weekend and uh, the beautiful thing is we've got a breeze coming right off the ocean here so um, it just cools it right down uh, up, up top here it's probably gonna be a little toasty on the way back but uh, very nice up here just light uh, I don't know, five knot wind so, packed up, Ohana, no equipment left behind, check. Got a bunch of contacts, check. Sent some CW, check. And uh, had a good time, check, check. So I think we're gonna get out of here. Um, Mike said, uh, or excuse me, John said look for uh, red snakes. So I think we'll do that on the way down. Keep an eye open for red snakes. Because um, evidently they do bite. <laughs> and, you know, we just don't like biting things. But a nice trail all the way up here too. So, here we go. Coming off this uh, fairly big summit. We could, uh, you could run two operators up here, no problemo. If you wanted to do a double uh, double uh, activation up here some other guys plenty of room to spread out so keep that in mind Adam next year you and me up here dude all right let's head down All right, that was a good hike. Um, 2.7, or excuse me, 4.7 miles. And uh, yeah, you already got the number of contacts I, uh, I got. So uh, check out uh, my blog, n1clc.com or hamninja.com. And you'll see the sister post of this uh, video. Also, I have a video series out there uh, called Soda360. And uh, the first four, in the series is an intro and then a planning um, an actual activation and then I show you how I upload my um, my contacts to get my points so if you want to learn how to do soda um, that'd be a good uh, little series for you if you want to chase there's a separate one out there about chasing soda operators uh, from anywhere from a summit from uh, from home wherever so check those out um, I think I just recently post one on navigation as well so check that one out as, as well if, if that will be helpful for you. So anyway, beautiful day out here. Nice breeze off the ocean. Keeping it a lot cooler today. And it was very enjoyable. 73 guys.